It starts when you land at the airport. You get off the plane, there's a luggage cart for free. Welcome to Canada, eh? That same luggage cart in the States is five bucks. Here, it's free. Because you guys practice a socialist capitalism where you make money, but you still have someone of a soul. I'm just saying, it's nice. You know, it's free. You know, especially after getting off an airplane where they practice capitalist capitalism, they charge for everything. I'm surprised you don't get airborne. They walk down and I go, okay, people, let's go. Gas money. <laughs> like, gas money? I pay for my bag, I bought my lunch. Yeah, it's a new thing we're doing called screw the customer. Let's go. <laughs> gas money, we don't land this plane. You're like, all right, here's some gas money. Is the cabin pressurization, is that still complimentary? <laughs> Meanwhile, this woman sits down with a cat, and the cat has this little orange vest on it that says therapy cat. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I've never seen, is that where we're at as a species? Like, I can't get through my day without my therapy cat. <laughs> he, he, he calms me down. I go, yeah, I get it, lady. Being a grown up blows, huh? <laughs> you don't think we all want something furry to pet when things get hairy? <laughs> but you're in an airplane, you lunatic, okay? And if the nine prescription pill bottles in your purse ain't getting you there. I hardly think the therapy cat's gonna take you over the top. I love animals. I would never drag a cat onto an airplane. We're talking about an animal that freaks out over a vacuum cleaner. I mean, how the hell you think he's gonna handle a 737? Sure enough, the plane takes off, the cabin decompresses, the poor cat starts losing it. I go, hey, lady, I don't know how to tell you this, but your therapy cat's having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> oh, oh, sure, you're fine, but your therapy cat's having a conniption. Now, what does he get? A therapy mouse? A uh, uh, CNI chicken? A guy was on a Delta flight with an emotional support turkey strapped in in the middle seat. I'm going, ha, ah, this way, how long before people get on a plane? with a 36-gallon aquarium. I was like, excuse me? Uh, these are my comfort fish. Uh, they keep me calm when I fly. Oh, God forbid we hit a little bit of turbulence. Next thing you know, we're all in the middle of a wet T-shirt contest having sushi for lunch because you're afraid to fly. No wonder there's no more customer service. I don't got to tell you people. You're out there. They, they want you to check yourself out at the supermarket. I was picking a couple of guys, goes, yeah, let's go over there and check yourself out. I was like, I don't work here. <laughs> Did I accidentally fill out a job application while I was over in the produce section? I thought that was a survey. I'm not taking the 15-minute shift on self-checkout. I don't know the code for a mango. What's wrong with the old way? I like the old way. I like the human way. You make some eye contact with the board cashier. You put a smile on her face, and then she asks you if you have any coupons, which I don't, because I'm not a housewife from 1978. Who's got time to sit at home all day and clip coupons? You know, maybe you should pick up a part-time job and save yourself the 17 cents on the six containers of yogurt and the large can of mushroom soup. <laughs> we gotten dumber as a species. You people know it. They ask you now, when you're checking out, would you like a bag? And no, I'm gonna juggle these 47 items out to my clown car. A bag, well that would be too easy. There's handles and shit on it. I'm just, no, I'm gonna take the items out one at a time. Coming back for the apple next. Should only take about 40 minutes. Yeah, I'd like a bag. Well, how many bags do you want? <laughs> as many as it takes. Then there's no loose groceries on the How did you get this job? What do you take your IQ with a tire gauge? We've been doing this way for decades. I buy stuff, you put it in a bag, I walk out.
Does this business model work anywhere else? You go to a restaurant, order a bowl of soup? Did you bring your own bowl? Uh, no, just ladle the hot liquid into my hands and I'll lick it off my blistered palms. What's that, split pea? That's delicious. I don't walk in an ice cream store or ice cream. Did you bring your own cone? No, I was just gonna lay underneath the center nozzle and let you fill my face with soft serve till I tap out in a diabetic coma. Yeah, I want a bowl, I want a bag, I want a cone. You know what I don't want to do? I don't want to build my own burger. I could do that at home. I don't want to craft my own pizza. What am I paying you people for? I'm doing all the heavy lifting. Hey, I wonder if that works in this industry. Everybody, I'm Jimmy Schubert, I'm a comedian. Here, why don't you make yourself laugh for 10 minutes?